Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. In this video, we're going to introduce ACE Step. It is a music generation uh, foundation model. So they provided GitHub page, Hugging Face paper, and also the Hugging Face space demo. So this is a very cool project. And if you go through the samples, which is the songs section, they will have a lot of the demos to show you how good this model is. So basically you just add some tags, then it actually will generate a music based on the text and also with these uh, themes and also the rhythms so it's a very uh, cool project so if you go to their github page uh, you can also see this is actually on a patch license which is awesome and um, so in the abstract section you can see that um, this new ac step model it is a novel open source foundation model for music generation and also and one very cool part of this is actually uh, diffusion-based. So this is actually diffusion-based generation with Sana Deep Compression Auto Encoder. And so if you go through a little bit further on the abstract, you can see that, that uh, this model also support Comfy UI. So you can actually integrate this music generation um, in the Comfy UI, Comfy UI, which is super cool. And so if you go through this uh, installation steps. So there's um, a few issues actually uh, in their installation. So which we're gonna cover in this video to show you how to build this step by step on Kaggle for free with Kaggle's GPUs. But if you have a local laptop um, with enough of VRAM, feel free to check out the readme. And so if you um, actually uh, look through this basic usage, you can see that uh, they provided two ways to set this up. The one way is to just a basic and the other way is to show you how to actually uh, add more param params, like the checkpoint path and also the device ID if you do have a multiple GPUs. And also there's um, ways to actually uh, reduce the VRAM usage. So I think um, they actually put it into this um, CPU offload. So basically in this command line argument section, they have a CPU offload. So basically this will actually reduce the VRAM usage, which is super cool. And also on Kaggle, you do need these parameters to make it work. So we'll show that a little bit later, um, but uh, let's get started. So basically, I think this is a very good project. If you actually want to generate uh, music just from tags, it's very easy and the quality is very, very good. So if you uh, can just uh, click on this paper, there's a section that I showed you guys a little bit earlier. You can just click, you should be able to see the demos. So let's go to Kego and before we go to Kego.com, so basically this is the one that we already set up. You can also check this out on the hack and face space. So you can see that they're uh, the same, but we already set everything up on Kego. Um, and also we generated a music with this um, application. So if you actually refresh, so you can see this is actually running right now. And let's go to Kego.com to see how this, this is actually Build step by step. Okay, let's create a notebook on Kigo.com. Let's create it, I'll just call it uh, AC step. And then basically you need to set up the environment variables. So like the port, you can uh, just use the port one, which is 7865, uh, HF hop enable, and also the Debian front end, which is uh, now interactive. And make sure you set up everything up like this. Then you have to also install all the dependencies here. So, um, so this, uh, actually is from the docker file. If you go to uh, the AC step, there's a docker file in the um, REPL. So you can see there's a docker file. There's uh, different steps that's in the docker file. Uh, we basically uh, used some of that uh, in this notebook. So as you can see here, we do need to set up a few uh, dependencies. So you just copy and paste this. So it should be good enough. And then we start to install the AC step. So first do a git clone of the REPL and then CD to that REPL. Make sure you install all these different dependencies like HF transfer uh, PFT. Then you basically need to also install the requirements for, uh, from this uh, CUDA 121. So uh, on local, it's probably different, depends on the CUDA version, but uh, on Kaggle, it supports uh, CUDA 12.1. Uh, so just use this uh, index URL. And then you should be able to set the requirements. 
um, then you have to also do a pip uh, three install with the um, dart. So this will actually also install uh, all the dependencies. Then make sure to create these two directories, which is outputs and checkpoints logs. So um, this is needed. So uh, because we're actually gonna download the um, checkpoints to the checkpoints folder and also to output the uh, music files in the output folder and also there's logs in the logs folder then uh, make sure this is um, updated so basically by default I think the um, AC step they did not specify the numpy, uh, numpy version and also second version so uh, I think this is actually um, causing issues on Kaggle uh, so make sure you do install the numpy uh, NumPy with the 1.26.4 version and also uh, the second learn to be 1.3 so this is um, basically some uh, it will have some problems if you actually install the default requirements that, uh, txt so this is needed make sure this is installed then you can actually install ngrok uh, and also we have other ngrok set up on almost every video so feel free to check out the other videos so we just skip the solution for ngrok in this one uh, we'll briefly just go through these steps but uh, make sure you point the uh, local host 7865 which is where the ac step is running and then uh, you can actually run the AC step. So first we have to specify the checkpoint path. Um, this is optional. You can also specify a different path or just use the default checkpoint path. The port is 7865. So this is default port. The device ID is zero. So uh, we're actually using the uh, P100. So, uh, so this is um, good for the AC step. So because it has 16 gigs and for uh, the share we turn to false. This is a greater share. So because we're actually using ngrok, so we turn to the share because of false. And then the BF16 we also set to false. So um, and so I think default is true, but um, we just set it to false and it works. And for the torch compile, uh, we also turn that to false. And then uh, we only set the uh, CPU offload because it's true because we actually uh, want to offload some of the computation on the CPU. And then we also set the overlapped decode equals the false. So this is actually a bit different than what is actually set in the readme. If you go through the readme, you can see that they actually recommend to set everything to true. But um, for the Kago notebook, that might be something different. So you do need to basically set everything to false. Um, maybe you can try to set to true and try it out. But I think the uh, uh, CPU offload to true, this is uh, required. Everything else, you can just uh, try it out to so see that if that works. But you can see everything is working if you use actually this setup. So that should be it. Then uh, you should be able to test the music generation with AC step on Kiko. And also, there should be a st uh, radio interface. So you can see it's very easy to test. Uh, just make sure that um, you try it out for the samples. So you can just click samples. You can see uh, it's just generate all different prompt. So this is where uh, the lyric, lyrics, so you can just try it out, different lyrics. And also you can see the rhythm, uh, they call it the uh, tags. So you can see different uh, style, right, the music style. So you can um, just uh, click sample. They will actually update automatically, like the pop, piano, rap, and dark, and atmosphere. And also you can try out like the uh, electronic pop. So basically every sample has a different like rhythms so just um, try them out and so it is pretty good uh, also they have basic settings so you can just uh, specify how many steps so this is actually similar to the image generation because it's actually diffusion based you can see that uh, the default is 60 steps and also uh, you can try it out different steps but uh, the more steps usually give you better results and uh, the advanced settings so this is basically another way to just uh, give you more options to uh, try out this new awesome AC step model. So that being said, um, this is the way uh, how to build an AC step on Kego.com for free with Kego's GPUs. And um, so hopefully this is helpful. And uh, if you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have any questions, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.